Oh, it looks like I've got it working. Well, hello everyone. It's a long time no see. <laughs> yes, it's been a while and I apologize. I'll... Uh, this video is a request from my wife. Uh, to, it is uh, Sunday, the 27th. Yeah, 27th. And so since it's before Halloween, my wife wanted me to do this video to read a story that she wrote um, and about Halloween, about trick-or-treating. It's a children's story that she wrote. And she has pictures and everything to the story, but uh, um, the pictures are not colored in. Uh, so she doesn't want me to show you the, uh, the pictures. So, anyways, so I'm going to read it to you, and this is the story, uh, this is the cover, and this is uh, the book, The Magic Pumpkin Seed, by my wife, Stephanie. Anyways, here we go, into the story, again, the title of the story is The Magic Pumpkin Seed, and this is a story about... A young boy dreaming about going trick-or-treating on Halloween and how that dream comes true even despite a bully in the story as well so here we go <clears throat> so bear with me and been a while. I hope you like it. So, The Magic Pumpkin Seed by Stephanie Hunter. Okay. Actually, let me get to the uh, page. There we go. The Magic Pumpkin Seed. A voice calls. Who's there? Johnny asks. looking out from underneath the covers of his bed uh, of his bed I'm the magical pumpkin would you like to go trick-or-treating on Halloween night yeah but the rule is no trick-or-treating in this town Johnny tells the magical pumpkin just eat this magic pumpkin seed on October 31st on your way home from school before the seed loses its magic. Then say the words, trick or treat. Then your wish will come true, the magical pumpkin tells Johnny. Wow, Johnny says. When Johnny wakes in the morning, he thinks... What a great dream. What is it like to wear a costume and go house to house to get goodies? He feels something in his hand. Wow, a glowing seed. I wish I could show you the pictures, but anyways. Later that morning, before school starts, he shows the seed to his friends, Billy and Scooter. Guys, when I eat this magic pumpkin seed, I will be able to go trick-or-treating tonight. Wow, where did you get that, they ask. From the magical pumpkin, Johnny answers. What's that, they ask. Johnny says, but he's like Santa Claus, only he delivered a seed instead of presents. Magical pumpkin. While in school, Johnny draws pictures of the magical pumpkin instead of doing his schoolwork. He shows the seeds to the kids in his class and tells them about the magical pumpkin's visit. <coughs> Young man, this is not show and tell, Mr. Day says, and takes Johnny's seed away from him. Thank <laughs> you. 
having tr uh, trouble flipping the page here. Whoop. And by, I see. Yep. And by recess, everyone in school knows about Johnny's seed, even the school bully, Knuckle Sandwich. Hey, kid, I want that magic pumpkin seed. He hollers at Johnny. The class bell rings. We'll get it after school, Knuckle Sandwich tells his friends. How do I get the seed back, Johnny wonders. I'll just have to wait until everyone leaves so I can search the room for it. After school, he cannot keep still while he waits for the teacher to leave. He sneaks into the classroom. Yes, there's the seed, he says with relief. Whew, now I can finally eat it and go trick-or-treating. He takes the seed and hurries out of the school. Hey, kid, give me that seed. Or he runs right into the arms of Knuckle Sandwich, who jumps out from the bushes. I ate the seed already, Johnny tells him. Pause. Flipping the page here. <laughs> Anyways. All right, here we go. He frees himself from Knuckle Sandwich, but trips and falls during his getaway. Oh no, Johnny cries, I can't reach the seed. Grab that seed and throw it to me, Knuckle Sandwich orders Ray, who is standing closest to it. You, let's see, nope, nope, wrong page. The seed is airborne, heading right towards Knuckle Sandwich. Now I'm going trick-or-treating, thanks to the help of your seed, Johnny. He chants. No, you won't. Johnny runs right into the seed's path before Knuckle Sandwich can catch it. Yay. Go, Johnny. I threw that in there myself. I caught it, Johnny says, and puts the seed into his mouth. You also need to say the magic words, trick or treat. Johnny keeps saying the words, trick or treat. A few minutes pass, but nothing happens. Ooh, what happens? Is there something wrong with the seed? That's the question. Shall we turn the page and see? I think we shall. You tricked me, says Knuckle Sandwich. The seed must have lost its magic, Johnny shouts. Johnny walks home slowly, wearing a frown on his face. His hopes of going trick-or-treating are now lost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is the dream gone? Is it truly gone? No. I think we shall continue. Mom, Dad, are you home? Where is everybody? Trick or treat, Johnny. Hmm. A little surprise. His mother hands him a box. We are going trick or treating in the neighborhood, she tells him. Awesome. The seed worked after all. You knew it would all along. Johnny wears his pirate costume proudly as he goes trick or treating. Trick or treat, the happy voices choir. When their bags are full, they return to Johnny's, where they tell ghost stories and bob for apples. After an evening of fun, the party is over. 
it is Johnny's bedtime again. And thank you, Mom. He said, it's, thank you, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Good night, Johnny. As he lies in bed, ghosts and ghouls dance in his head. With a smile on his face, he gives a special thanks to the magical pumpkin for the greatest Halloween <laughs> he has ever had. The end. So what'd you think of our, of my lovely ladies? children's tale about Halloween. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my reading of it. And uh, most of all, I hope my lovely lady enjoys this video reading of her story. You all have a good night. You have yourselves a happy Halloween and a safe Halloween as well. All right. Maybe I'll do my own video talking about just the holiday of Halloween before Halloween. All right. Just thinking out loud there. All right. God bless you all. Stay safe out there. And good night.